200 meter individual medley final. In four, representing Barnet Copthall, Megan Byrne. This is just an announcement as well for Olivia Butler to go down to the timing suite as soon as possible, please. That's Olivia Butler to the timing suite. Thank you. So the penultimate final now underway. The women's 16 years, 200 IM. And off to a great start is Nia Stardom in lane at number seven on this fly leg. And there's Nia there, turning in a 30.64, just ahead of Megan. Byron in for... Matei J. Oliver from the city of Liverpool in third position here, coming up to the halfway stage with these three girls in a line at the moment. Coming up to the halfway stage before on to the breaststroke leg. But Megan Byron in four from Barnet Coptel, still just in second. Nia Strider from Seven Oaks just touching their first at the halfway mark, but in lane. Number six, Olivia Tatton from Northampton now coming through on the breaststroke. Along with Megan Byron in four from Barnett Coptel looking good on this breaststroke. Brilliant breaststroke leg for Olivia Tatton of Northampton over in six. She really has come through on this leg. So five meters to go before we go on to the final leg, the freestyle. And it is Megan Bryant just there first. So what do they have left on this freestyle leg? It is still Megan Bryant in lane number four, but doing a fantastic job in six, Olivia Tatton. It is Megan Bryan here in lane four that is going to take the win here. What a swim for her. She's got a best of 2.24.14 and she's going to be way under that 2.21.71. There we go. Brilliant swim for Megan Bryan there in four. Please welcome to the poolside the swimmers for the final of the girls 13 years 200 meters freestyle. In lane three, representing Barnett Cockle, Megan Byrne. So an intriguing race here in the girls' 13 years double hectometer. We've got some girls who've tasted success already. Rebecca Sutton, she's been the queen of IMs, winning gold at both the 400 and the 200. She's our fastest qualifier in here. Can she bring that IM skill to bear on the freestyle event? Very fast start from name one, Elizabeth Harris. She's had a couple of silver medals behind Rebecca Sutton in the IM event. She'll be hoping to go one better in this. And there's Rebecca Sutton who leads at the moment from Harris. This is great swimming, Chris, because this morning we only had two girls go under 30 points. And so far, we have a fine swimmer here in the last round. Gatsy swimmer, swimming lane number seven, Anna Fleming. She's had a good solid week this week as well.
She got the bronze medal she wants the gold medal and she now has taken the lead before the race of the event. The first place, the gold medal winner was Anna Fleming. She can't quite do it today, but this is stunning swim from the London swimmer, Megan Bird. Yes, Megan Burns, she looks to have paced this perfectly. She's going to take the gold coming into the wall on 204.98. Rebecca Sutton beside her, 205.99. Has to settle for silver this time. The gold medalist and ASA National Age Group Champion in a time of 2 minutes and 4.98 seconds, representing the Barnet Cockle, Megan Byrne. Elizabeth Harris going well in lane number six. Also on the starting well in lane eight, Yuli Yavorska staying. She did make a fast start to her heat and didn't quite hold the same pace as the girls in the middle. It was very strong finishes from our three fastest seeds going into this final, so expect them to come strong later on. All tight as we come to the first hundred. Still Elizabeth Harris with the lead, turning in 103.93. Second through Caitlin Fearon now, 104.08. From Phoebe Griffiths, 104.23. So the swimmers in the centre beginning to get into it. Now this really is interesting because Caitlin Fearon has a different race plan than this morning. Because this morning she went 63.57 and she's gone 64.08. She should be told to probably hang back and bring it on home. But Elizabeth Harris has a fantastic second 100 here. She had the guts to take it out and at 137 and 77. And I can tell you, the fastest split we had this morning was 137 and 39. So these girls are slightly down. However, Elizabeth is up on the time. She has made the most of that turn because she has half her body length. But here comes Caitlin Fearon. She's just winding it up as she comes up to the halfway line. Uh, Elizabeth Harris must have been watching the Maisie McCartney in the previous race. She took it out strong and was able to hold on. It looks like it's going to be tight at the halfway and Caitlin Theron has to to 11.78 over Elizabeth Harris to 11.91. Rebecca Sutton in lane 3, the medley star moving up in the third round. It's all got very tight across the first five paces. Lanes two and three coming into it, Megan Byrne and Rebecca Sutton, as we said. Also still with the pace is Phoebe Griffiths, the 800 meter winner, so expect her to have strength towards the end. But as we come towards the 250 mark, nothing to tell between these lead five. Still Caitlin Fearon from Elizabeth Harris, all very close. So Caitlin Fearon now has the lead, and this is just three tenths slower than what she went this morning. But you can see a different race plan. He's being spun by the swimmer in at lane number four. But ladies and gentlemen, you are in a full retreat because currently you have five women battling it out for just three places on that podium. So come on, we talked about support. You need to be louder than ever as they come into 300 meter mark, 100 meters to go then. It is going to be a new leader again. We've got Megan Byrne from Barnett Cocktail, 319.40. Ladies and gentlemen, this is fantastic swimming. Let's be on the and give them a wave and give them a shout as they come into the last 75 metres. 
As Megan Byrne looks to be making her move, Elizabeth Harris slightly responding. These two have stolen a bit of a march on the girls in the middle. BB Griffiths is the one that not quite keeping pace with the others. The 800 meter swimmer maybe not having the same outright speed as these girls. As we come towards the last turn, it looks like it's still going to be Megan Burns slightly with the touch. Yes, it is Megan from Caitlin Fearing. Rebecca Sutton in third, still a contender. As we come down the last 50, Megan Burns still in the lead.